Hey everybody, and welcome back to my next vlog installment. As you can see, I got the bass trombone out. Had a couple of gigs recently on uh, bass trombone, so I thought I'd finally do a bass trombone kind of bass vlog. And today I'm going to talk about tuning the second valve on the bass trombone. And I know that there are a few different systems and ideas of approaching on how to do this. And uh, I want to start off by saying that I am not saying that the system that I use is necessarily better than any other system. I'm just going to tell you how I tune it and why I tune it that way. This is one of those things in trombone playing that I, I kind of believe becomes dogmatic. And a lot of times... Um, a number of things are the case. Uh, people will, A, not think about tuning their second valve on bass trombone and just do whatever. Number two, they do what their idle bass trombone player does, whether it's Blair Bollinger with his um, special tuning system or, or what have you, or they'll do what their teacher told them to do, which is great, but many times they don't really understand the reasons why or haven't experimented with other ways of tuning to see if that works better. As I like to say, it doesn't matter what you do as long as you know why you do it and can express why you do it. So anyway, so it, before I get into this, if you disagree with this methodology, that's perfectly fine. Uh, don't take it personal because I know that, it's some, that sometimes uh, trombone players get a little uh, upset when people disagree with them. So anyway, um, the way that I, I tune the the, the, the bass trombone is, is pretty normal. I always tune the main attachment or the main tuning slide to, of course, B flat. The F attachment, I tune to F, uh, which means that I can play low F in first. And, of course, if I have to play C uh, above that, you know, C in the staff, I just got to pull out the slide just a little bit. Now, when it comes to the, to the, to the third valve, uh, maybe I should talk about the other tuning systems first. Uh, one of the more uncommon tuning systems is to have a bass trombone in F and E flat which means that when both valves are depressed, you can, you can get a low E flat, which for most of us, we don't have this uh, tuning system. It's kind of an older tuning system, but people still do use it. And it does have some merits uh, 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 to it, especially when it comes to alternate positions with the second valve alone. Um, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about, for the most part, a um, independent valve system, whether it's Thayer's or Rotor's or Hagman's or what have you and to have the F and the, and the D or G flat on the second valve. Now, uh, an another system is when you tune the second valve, some people I know tune the second valve to, to low G flat because they like to have an alternate position for fifth in first position. That's fine and, and dandy, but you just have to be careful of when it comes to like the low C and be natural, you have to know right where those, those notes are. A lot of times they're going to be altered from normal positions because, for example, uh, when I tune this horn, uh, if I tune it to low G flat in first position, when I play low C, I have to bring it in a, a little bit. The system that I use is I tune my second valve where I have low C right in the same place as G. And the main reason for that is, is many times when I use low C, uh, which is a more common note for me than, than low B natural, um, many times I'm going to it from, from B flat or it's in the key of C or the key of G or some kind of natural key or, or maybe one, one sharp, one flat, that kind of area. And a lot of times I, I really like to have my fourth position, both C and G, in the same, where I don't have to do any adjusting. Some people, as I said, depending on how you tune that second valve, you might have to adjust out or in for a C. And that's perfectly fine if you're accustomed and used to it. I like to have as many positions as close together as, as possible, especially when I'm uh, transitioning in the low range from like C to, to G, B flat to C, I like to know precisely where that's at and not have as much uh, worry about the uh, micro adjustments, let's say, of the uh, of positions. So as I said, that's another one. The other system that sometimes people use is they'll tune the second valve to have D natural in tune in first position. So you can have, of course, that, and, and that would be with both valves down, you would get the low D below the staff. 
And I think that's also a fine system because using the alternate position low D is great. We play a lot of things, especially in band in band music in flat keys. And so having the low D, which would of course give you a complete uh, arpeggio, B flat major arpeggio in first position, is fine too. But when you tune that uh, a D, you're going to have to pull out a little bit. Well, I do anyway on this horn on on the C. So I also am a fan of kind of a I'm going to say it's kind of a hybrid system. I've I've heard that um, some old school professors used to teach that that if compared to alternate positions or primary positions, it's always better if you can to use the primary position because you get a better tone. And then on the other hand, many modern uh, uh, players uh, like to use as many alternate positions as they possibly can, obviously for a technique and, and ease of slide. But the downside is, of course, you're sacrificing a little bit of uh, uh, tone color and uh, tone quality, simply because uh, you're, you're, you're playing a higher note or a note in a, in a further out of position so you have more uh, tubing, so, so it's just not as natural. And so I like to kind of do a hybrid system. There are some notes that I really like in the primary position, and one of those is low D. I really think that it pops really well for me uh, when like in like the flat fourth, fifth, fifth position with the single valve instead of both valves uh, together. I've just never been able to get that note to uh, speak as well as I can uh, what I consider it to be at the primary because you have uh, less. Uh, curves in the tubing because you're only using one valve as compared to two. So a lot of times when it comes to low D, I prefer to have D out, out, out here and it's not really a big deal for me. Now the other system that has kind of come on the scene in the, in the, in the past decade or so is, I guess we'll call it the Blair Bollinger system. He's the bass drum bonus of the Philadelphia Orchestra. He has kind of a mixture between the D attachment and the E flat attachment in that this would be cut down a little bit uh, so your C's would have to kind of come out between fourth and fifth position, but what it does is it gives you the alternate positions, from what I understand, if you want to play a C or an F, it puts them precisely in third position with the second valve alone. So that's great for people that like to use the second valve al alone, which I, which I do, but I've adjusted to, to kind of doing that halfway position between second and third. So anyway, there are the main systems that uh, you'll in, in, in encounter and how I tune my instruments. So once again, if I play, 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 play bass drum bone, I tune the uh, main attach or the main tuning slide to B flat, F attachment to F, and then I tune the second valve where I can get C precisely in fourth position. So that's why I do it. It's just the way that I play, the way that I like it. Uh, it's not the way that I was taught. Uh, but it's the way that, um, from just playing a lot, that I've just developed and, and feel that I play in tune the best with the best tone quality. So as I said, this is not an instructional video. I'm not trying to convert you to my system of attuning if, if you tune this differently, but I just kind of wanted to express how I do it, maybe give you a thought, try it out, see if you like it. If you don't, fine. If it works, try it. I like to be aware of all the different systems and, 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 and kind of experiment with them from time to time because you never know as you develop as a, as a player and get better or your technique changes or what have you, a different system might work better on a different piece. It might work better at a different stage in your musical performance. So anyway, there you go. If you have any questions over this, uh, I'm sure I was clear as mud on some of this stuff. So anyway, that's my vlog for the week and how I tune the second valve on my bass trombones. So, thanks for watching.